Hey folks, it's the Red Gang back to the Crash Bandicoot 2 No Damage Run. We've been through a lot of interesting stages so far, but this next one is the Eel Deal. <laughs> you smell that? Oh, sewer levels. I hate sewers, they smell like poo gas. Just what I've always wanted to see. Oh, and look at this! A cleaning robot? In my sewer? Oh, I don't think so. Get down here. There we go. I demand that my sewers be filthy and nasty like every other sewer I've seen. These eels here will electrify the water every now and then. Just don't be standing in it when it's yellow and you'll be fine. The eels cannot be defeated, so don't bother trying. Just focus on staying out of the water, and that'll be that. I do seriously wonder why there are cleaning robots down here in the sewer anyway. It seems almost sadistic to be having a robot designed to clean something as nasty as a sewer. Cortex, what's wrong with you? Why do you care if the sewers are clean anyway? And they are indeed his, because they have an N on the side of them. Oh, you would want us to go left, wouldn't you? Well, it's probably going to lead to a trap, so instead, we're going to go to the right! Into the field of Nitro! Because this is totally safe! Also, let's go through the wall. And find ourselves a hidden path. Just a few rats down this particular path. Getting across here isn't terribly difficult. Whoa, okay. But during that long stretch of war there, you definitely want to be careful. Take out these two uh, robots. If you have good aim, you can take them. You can spin into one, spin it into the other, and get a Wumpa Fruit out of it. And here's a green gem. But now we have to try and get out of here with it. That's the tricky part of this secret path. Usually it's a good idea to wait on these platforms until the electricity passes and give yourself a safe way back. Watch out for the toxic barrel here. Oh my god, how did that not kill me? Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Okay, we've made it to the end of the secret path and now we have to get back into this room without exploding ourselves. I think the best way is from right here. There we go. Whew, okay. With that, the hardest part of this stage is out of the way. Let me tell you, those nitro crates always have me worried, as well as the trip back. Alright. And now it is bonus time. Don't just jump off of this platform or you'll just go straight into that pit. I did it a few times in practice, and I'd rather not do it again, thank you. I rather like the music that plays here. Not in the sewer level, well, although the sewer level is pretty good too, but this bonus music, I like. Gonna try and squeeze under there? Okay. And yeah, pretty straightforward bonus there. We've certainly seen worse. Alright, back to the stage. This rat's waiting to ambush us as soon as we open the door. Oh, you're gonna do this to us again. Okay, fine. This time we will take the lump of fruit. Ah, leads to a well-hidden crystal. Of course. And also a rather random assortment of boxes. I really don't feel like bouncing on that bounce crate, so let's just get these things out of the way. Okay, now we can go up the proper path. Boy, there's a lot of nitro in this level, and that one really got some airtime out of that bounce. Did you see it? Let's see if it does it again. Yeah, we could be waiting a while. So let's just keep going. 
more scrubbing bubbles. It looks a little hectic, but this hallway is pretty basic. More random assortment of boxes. And now for the last leg of this race. Now we have some grapes that we can hang onto from the rooftops. And you can swing across them like a monkey. This part's pretty fun. Okay, and now we can set off our nitros. Careful not to move too far ahead. We want to wait for this robot to get behind us before we move forward. Also very important, don't press any buttons because that could make you let go of the grate and you will plummet straight into the red hot pipes down below. Okay, once again, red hot pipes on the bottom, don't step on them. We also have these, uh, spiky robots. None of your attacks can hurt them, so just avoid them. Whoa! Almost slipped there. And right before the exit, too. That would have been just embarrassing. But, there we go! We got all three treasures out of that room. So much shiny! So much dance! And with the acquisition of our 10th crystal, we are going to get another intermission from Cortex. 10 of 25 crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between warp rooms. Remember, I am counting. Well, we sure don't want to let him down, and next time we're going to find out what's up in the third warp room. We've got ourselves another boss fight coming up. No, up crash. That's better. We'll see you then. Not down. Up. Seriously, I don't know why there are cleaning robots down here. Do they know? There's always an early death. Always. Oh, well, that was a failed jump. Oh, and, uh, yeah, case in point, they you could weigh down the platform, so don't stand on them. Yes, this leads to a secret area. Oh. But seriously, I wonder what the... I demand my sewers be filthy and nasty, so all y'all get out of here! I was not thinking that one through. Cortex, what's wrong with you? Red, what's wrong with you? If you hop a little bit, you can keep the platforms afloat, but don't stand around on them or... Ah, uh, never mind. I mean, it's a task that's destined to fail. Oh! Kind of like me trying to do a no-damage run on this game. <laughs> 